Today let's talk about a software product made by a member of my channel, uh, Rune Hansen, who started it as a hobby project and grew out to be a fully developed super software for USB thermal cameras such as Infiray, Unity and other brands and models. It's a one-time purchase, not a monthly subscription like uh, for example FLIR does and it's a multi-brand compatible software where you get free updates forever and live support and the number of newly added supported cameras are just increasing. Now let's take a look at this software. First of all, the app is multi-window capable, so you can run the segments in different independent windows, as you can see in this image, by pressing these options. In this video, I will use only one screen at a time. So let's get into the software. You can find it in the Microsoft Store. If you haven't purchased the software yet, there is also a 7-day demo available. In this case, the software is already purchased, so let's open it. So now let's dive into the functions of the software itself. Let's start with the settings. In the first row, it will give you the option for connecting the camera. You have to choose the model you want to connect. There are several, several models and the number of the models are growing as Rune is keep implementing more and more models as new, newer models coming out and older models also being implemented. So going further, we have the thermal camera options, for example. This is being enabled once a thermal camera is being connected. So let's connect the P2 first. From the list I have to select the P2, then just click connect and it's automatically connected. Once if I go to the stream, I already see my image there, but for now let's go back to the settings. So here basically you can find the thermal camera uh, adjustments, um, environmental adjustments uh, to get the best recording for your, for the best view for your uh, subject. These options I do not know yet. Uh, what is it serving? I didn't ask the developer yet about it. Once thermal camera calibration settings, we go a little deeper here. We can read the internal temperatures, I guess, the camera itself, which in the case of the P2 is not uh, implemented yet, but uh, with other cameras, I know it works. I tested before. Now you have the thermal camera calibration settings and there is a thermal camera sensor drift based uh, calibration as well. We will enable automatic shutter correction, full frame temperature data, uh, CSV and snapshot settings. Now you can choose uh, the location where you're going to save uh, all the uh, saved data. You have the option to save the raw image. I guess that has the temperature data for post analysis. Here are the few options that I don't understand yet. You need to have professional level knowledge about <laughs> these kind of settings in order to understand everything. I understand very well the hardware, but not yet uh, some uh, professional terms of this kind of data saving methods and of the software itself. But the developer have a very extensive knowledge about this kind of things and he's implementing all his wisdom into the program. Now we have here the screen capturing tool and video recording settings. Again, you can choose the uh, save location. You can choose if you want to use the native Windows uh, screen capturing tool or you want to use Windows snipping tool. Save raw data file recording for post analysis of recorded data. A little deeper below, we have here the temperature plot data set uh, settings. In this one, you can set different markings on the screen to be recorded with different uh, colors, for example. You're monitoring a chemical to be boiled, you can set different points on the screen to be recorded with different colors. In the data logging session, you also have here the save data location, data logging session settings here. On the last, I can find the temperature alarm configurations. Well, you can set different levels of uh, low and high temperature alerts and you can set up apparently here four different monitoring points on the screen that you can set up for any temperature you want it to be triggered if it's exceeding 50 celsius you're monitoring a liquid um, and you can set it up on the screen that if it's reaching higher than 50 celsius uh, it's, give you, it's going to give you a warning you can send you can put different alarm sound um, for the three for the alarms of course it is very interesting, especially for the price and the amount of time and effort uh, this developer put into this software. It's amazing, especially that no one else made a software this cheap um, with this much functions that covers this many different models. It's, it's amazing. Now let's go back to the streaming. So here I can see myself. 
So we have several options on the screen. We have the color palette, which covers a huge range of different color palettes, which I'm going to show in a moment. We have here also the image would be like this without this function. This is the um, image sharpening. As you can see, if I click on the image sharpening, the image is greatly improved. Now, then you can also put a high resolution mode. That's also boosting the image quality even further a little. This camera is only 256 by 192 resolution. And, and it looks way better than the rated resolution of this camera. As you can see, the temperature measuring is also quite accurate. In this case, I have nearly 36, nearly precise body temperature and the Accuracy normally in the P2 is about plus minus 2 Celsius. Considering that, 0.5 Celsius accuracy right now at this moment. And the hotspot tracking follows me, shows the hottest, hottest spot on my face, not bad. Coldest spot, I can put here in the center. This is going to measure the center of the screen, always. Whatever it's in the center of the screen, it will show that. The other measuring methods, the line for example, anything inside this line is going to be measured uh, with the maximum and the minimum temperature. You can move the line uh, wherever you want on the screen, as you can see. You can also have the cube. Inside that cube it will measure the lowest and highest temperature. I, you can also delete the lines if you want. You can also activate measuring for the mouse cursor. Wherever you move the mouse, it will measure that point exactly. Dual color palette box. So when you activate the dual color panel inside this box, you can, for example, separately adjust the color palette. Dual color palette, for example, let's say, I don't know, changing to the infrared color palette. Or down, down. You can change to any color palette within that only box. You can even move the box around anywhere on the screen you want. It's a very nice feature. Here you can change aspect ratio. Now you can here, you can take a snapshot. If you toggle this, you will record full data. You can record live data. You can capture video. You have the choice to measure the temperature in Kelvin or in Celsius. We have the 3D surface. This is good for engineers and all kinds of application that requires this type of uh, 3D surface uh, analyzing thing. When you measure a static object, not a face like this obviously, it will give funny results. <laughs> then you have the plots. These are the plots that I mentioned, where you can measure different points uh, with different colors. I'm sure if you're an engineer and you know exactly what this application for, you definitely would appreciate this type of software. Here, emissivity options. There's a lot of pre-programmed material with their emission data. Let's connect another camera, for example. If you want to disconnect the camera, just hit disconnect. Camera is disconnected. You remove it. Okay, first let's do the T2 Pro. From the menu you have to choose the appropriate uh, T2 Pro version because there is two versions, the V2 and the normal. I can hit connect. As you can see it's already connected. Go to stream and you can see everything. Kept all the settings that it was before and it's it gives incredible image. I mean you wouldn't be able to tell that this is just a 256 by 192 resolution camera itself and some cold ears. Now let's connect a higher resolution. Let's connect the good old DVD L13. This was 384 by 288 resolution. Selecting from the menu. DL13, connect, and it's connected. Beautiful. Setting the focus manually, and you have an insane, incredibly sharp and very nice image. Even with 384 resolution, 
looks like a 640. Excellent image. Now with devices like this, you can switch to higher range mode. If you measure an object above 200 Celsius up to 400 in case of this camera, for example, then you have to shift to the higher range. Then it will, it will be a little grainy because I don't have any super hot object on the screen to, to process it. But as you can see, it's implemented in, the, in this software as well. So you can use that, very nice. Now let's go to the setting, disconnect the camera. Let's show the analyzing of the snapshot or recording. Now let's do the recording. Here you can click to open an image. You hit the raw recording and then you will get this option. Hit the play. Then you can go to the streaming. And this was a preview stream is not now, which you can also post analyze the video itself with the, within the software a recording as well. Change color palettes on the on the video itself that I just rec I recorded. It's absolute fantastic. Let's go back to the good old Inferno color. This I like more. Right now all the cameras are disconnected. This is the recording, and as you can see, as I hover the mouse, you see the full frame complete temperature data. This is insane. Now if I go back to settings, you can change to snapshot analysis mode. And again, open the file. When you open the snapshot, you can see, again, this is a snapshot. And you can change the settings, color, palettes, measure with your, you can analyze uh, the, you can analyze the image. As you can see, you can do post analysis on images and uh, record that data. That's insane for the price of this software what he achieved so these are the functions of this amazing software i'm incredibly impressed with this software so this is an amazing software possible that by the time you watch this video the app is much more advanced thanks to rune hansen's exemplary developing skills if you own any infrared camera or any of the supported brand or you plan to get one this is a fantastic addition to extend its usability and functionality that $90 additional will boost its value for much further than, than what you pay for it. It's a one-time purchase and you get forever access and free updates unlike other brands like Flare. And if you have any question about the app or question about an issue with the app, you can ask the developer personally on his Discord server. I'm going to leave the link down in the description. He will answer and try to resolve and listen for what users want in the app and he try to implement all that wish into one single awesome software. Also, don't forget, if you want to buy a new Infiray thermal camera, discount is for every subscriber, large discount. All you have to do is subscribe and come to my Discord channel, link also in the description, and send me a private message and ask me for it. It's a simple process and will save you a lot of money compared to other sellers. I hope you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one.